In this video, I'm going to take you through how to use an SSD with the Yolobox Pro. In one of the most recent firmware updates to the Yolobox Pro, I think it was 1.8, they added the ability to use an SSD as part of your media storage or your media pool with the Yolobox Pro in addition to the SD card. Now you can use one or the other, you can't use both. So I'll just show you how that's all going to work now. I'm going to take my SSD, which I've got right here, and I'm going to plug it into the USB-C port on top of the Yolobox Pro. And there shouldn't really be a message when it comes up on the screen, so don't worry. But the way you can find out whether you have got a successful connection with your SSD is to go down into the menu settings and hit storage settings. And you'll be able to see now we've got USB storage enabled. If I was to take that out, that would be grayed out. So I'm now going to switch over to USB storage. The yellow box is going to give you the choice as to whether you want to put them on the SSD or onto the SD card. And just like with the SD card, we can now add sources from either the SD card or USB storage. As you can see, I've got quite a number of video files already on here. So I'm just going to select that one. And now just like with the SD card, we've now got one of our sources on there. So one of those things of recordings, if I now click the record button up here, it's going to give me the choice. It'll give you the choice as to whether you're going to go on the SD card or whether you're going to go to USB storage. You have the option. It doesn't choose for you, but it will default to the one that you selected in that menu setting earlier in this video. So I'm going to hit start recording. Now we're recording to the SSD, and this is what you're getting in terms of quality from the SSD. Like the encoding settings, it is limited to the bit rate frames per second you have selected for it. So if you have selected a bit rate of 10,000 kilobits a second, that's what it's going to record at 10,000 kilobits a second. We'll come back. And now we're going to go record and click stop. And any time once you've ended your recording, you can go back into the storage settings and change your storage back to the SD card. One of the things here is that you've got SD card management. Now, SD card management only applies to the SD card as it goes, but you might think, oh, I can go into the SSD and start amending files in there that way. You can't do that, unfortunately. It's only going to be the SD card, which remains able to be edited. If you want to edit the files on your SSD, you've got to plug them into a laptop or into your PC or Mac in order to be able to do that. Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions about anything I've covered in this video, please pop them in the comments down below, and I'll see you in the next one.